I went into the big city and got yet another boost of philander. And today I'm going to show you how to easily propagate it so that you could have a large club to aquascape your aquarium. So let's get right into it. A few weeks ago, I was able to take a short break from work and go to the big city for a few days. And while I was there, I just had to stop into a great locally owned aquarium store, April's Aquarium, and get all my aquascaping supplies. And in the store, I saw they had a new variety of Bucephalandra by Tropica, Bucephalandra needle leaf. It is much smaller and has a very nice leaf pattern, and I just had to get it. So now that we are home, let's unwrap this thing and get it ready for propagation. Getting the plant ready is pretty straightforward. After removing it, give it a quick rinse to clean off the nutrient-rich water, and then pat it down to dry. What you will need for propagation are a few rocks, and in this case I'm using barbecue lava rock, a few grow cups, and a bottle of super glue gel. I'm going to separate this clump into a few smaller pieces here. In this case, the boost is quite easy to separate as it doesn't have a thick rhizome, which is like an anchoring root system, and I can just pull it apart here. I'm also going to get my rocks ready and start gluing. I'm using a glove and toothpicks because the last time my fingers got stuck to the rock. Not fun. So place a dab of glue, press the base of the plant to the rock, and hold it for about 20 seconds, and then you can move on to the next one. Once you're done, you can place it in the cups, which I've attached to the side of my tank. Don't worry about the glue as it cures in the water and is non-toxic to the fish. And after this, all you have to do is just sit back, let it grow, and enjoy. Also, if you are as enchanted by Bucephalandra as I am, I've propagated quite a few different types now, and you can watch them all right here. See you in the next video.